try to uh, speak into it here. So uh, good afternoon. Again, thank you for being here. Um, again, my name is Tim Bremner, and I'm uh, currently a teacher at Castlemont High School and a director of what's called the Sustainable Urban Design Academy, which is a newly developing academy program um, at Castlemont. A little bit of history. I did, as was mentioned, I worked at what's called the Youth Empowerment School, which was just up the hill from uh, Castlemont for nine years. I've been in the district for, for 10 years. Um, and started the academy program there and had to close it because the school was closed in June. Um, as part of a lot of the transitions that we're all feeling in, in Oakland right now. Clearly that, that was the longest, longest anything at that school from custodial to uh, teachers to um, students. You know, I was the lo longest standing person in that, in that institution, which was interesting because I still think that even at seven years, that's still pretty, pretty new in the profession. So, um, you know, may, when that happened, I had the opportunity to um, kind of move what I could of that program to Castlemont, which I saw as, a, um, as challenging and difficult as the closure of that school was. I saw that as a real opportunity uh, to continue designing a program that I very much believed in and wanted to create that spot, you know, that same program at, at Castlemont, which I think has a lot of really amazing opportunities. So at Castlemont campus, I'm relatively new. I'm there for this year. Um, and have been just kind of trying to find a place and design, redesign a program and um, just do what we do in the classroom and um, partnerships and working with community folks and the students to do that. Um, when I first heard about this TSA move, to be honest, my initial reaction was of interest and kind of excitement. Um, perhaps that's because I've been in the district for as long as I have, which is short compared to some and long compared to others, but every single year that I've been in this district, there's been something incredibly challenging and something, some huge transition or major change. The last four or five years at YES, every year we were, were threatened with closure until ultimately it happened. You know, I did what I could do to keep it open and created new programs and brought in money and did all these things. I thought, you know, this might actually help keep a school open. Ultimately it didn't, right? But that wasn't, you know, there was still something left that we could continue to grow with and that's happening again, and some amazing things are happening at Castlemont already this year, and uh, I really look forward to the future there. And so in thinking about it, you know, I, from, from the time that I first heard about it, I didn't necessarily go to a place of, um, of concern or thinking that this was a malicious move necessarily, although I've got plenty of reasons to think that the district is, has malicious moves. Um, I've experienced, you know, what could be perceived as, as some of those. Um, but I saw this really as an opportunity um, both as a teacher to really reinvigorate, to get, um, to go through a process and a major transition that Castlemont is going through to, as an organizational strategy to kind of renew um, and to bring in as many quality folks who wanted to uh, contribute to a common vision as possible. And from a teaching perspective, to have colleagues that are, have similar vision and are on a similar page and have started from a similar place, I think is huge and extremely important. Um, in addition to that, I also have you know, as a director of an academy, I have a kind of a pseudo administrative role because I do some, have, have a little bit of a budget, have some uh, program development um, um, opportunity as well as, um, you know, hopefully some influence on teachers that are in the program that I'm trying to do, which has a lot to do with collaboration, integrated curriculum, uh, partnership with community. And if you don't have folks that understand or are part of that vision, have some experience with that vision, then it's going to be extremely hard to make it happen because it's extremely hard to make it happen anyways. So as somebody who's trying to develop and design and administer a program that is new and I think is trying to be as innovative as, as we possibly can uh, within the current kind of structure and parameters that we have, you know, having that conversation with teachers and as many teachers from in the district, outside of the district as possible, I see as a huge opportunity and really an asset. Um, with that said, I don't think that excludes the people that are working and have been working at Castlemont. You know, as a, as a teacher that's been in the district, teaching for 12 and the district for 10, I was actually kind of excited to go through a process of, of reapplying. And it wasn't because I felt, you know, I have some, you know, I have some, my, some criticisms, but overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly my feeling was this could be a really good process, right, to kind of describe and talk about what it is that, you know, I want to see in terms of vision, what, um, what I could bring to the table and what I would expect to see others bring to the table as well. Um, so those are kind of some of my initial, initial reactions to it. Um, you know, and at the, at, the, at the risk of sounding kind of trite or, um, or cliche, you know, a lot of what we do in sustainable urban design is about, is about planting, and I think that, you know, we work a lot in our garden. I think that ultimately there comes a time, and it's, you know, there's ebb and flow, and there comes a time that you can kind of recultivate 
you know, turn the soil and, and plant some new seeds. And I think that also, you know, we can use the experience that's there. We can kind of reinvigorate. And I uh, really look forward to being part of that process.